Welcome to the Preparing for Practice Framework for Parents. There are four actions that we're going to discuss in a moment, and this is for parents that say they want to help their child be successful. So this is getting you closer to a 1% parent and to give your child the best chance at success in the long run because you're going to help develop them to be self-sufficient and independent away from you. It kind of sucks, I'm sure. I'm not a parent, but you're giving them the freedom to learn and make their own decisions, okay? So the first action for a parent. You know what? Before that, Remember, this is a framework. This is a guideline and overview. This is not the end-all be-all answers, but this helps you have a system and a setup to help you be familiar with how you can help them uh, be familiar with that process, okay? So action one, give your child the responsibility. Do you want them to actually grow up or do you want to you know, kind of hold their hand all the way through life? If you want them to grow up, you need to give them the responsibility. I would help my child identify practice time and when they need to leave to arrive at the correct time. I would do that. Two, I would not control their actions. If they're not getting ready, that shows me that they are not serious. Simple enough. I will give him or her the freedom to choose and guide as necessary. They would need to, my child, prepare their bag, equipment, and water. And then they would need to show me that they want to make it to training. That's it. That's action one. Action two, I would let him or her zone in. When traveling to the game or practice, I would help them get in the zone. How would I do that? I would ask, what do you need to have to lock in? And once they tell me, I would let them run that for them and let them run the routine. I wouldn't involve that, that's them. Is it music? Is it a video? Is it a motivational speaker? Whatever it is for them, they need to find that. You can help guide them, obviously, or I can help guide them as the parent, but that's up to them. If they ask for advice and feedback, I'm going to keep it simple, okay? If they ask me, oh, if they ask me if I will be mad or upset because of a bad game or something, the only thing that I would be upset about is if they didn't give 100% in everything. And that's the only non-negotiable for me. So the only time I'm gonna be mad or upset is if they do not give 100% effort. Otherwise, wins, losses, mistakes, part of the business. That's how they learn and grow. And then I want to make sure that they can arrive at least 20 to 30 minutes before the start of their practice. 